There are many cases where we have a variety of entries for a given field, for example countries, and say the task is to group these into distinct regions of north, south, east, and west. Now there's a few ways you can do this, some easier than others, but the easiest way in Tableau is to use the grouping function where in just a few clicks you can create a whole new field. <laughs> In this video, we're going to cover something called grouping. And I remember the very first time I saw grouping, I was like, because it just saves so much time in data prep. So let me show you what it is. All right. And we're going to clean up that field called um, location. I think, no, we called it state. Right. So clicking on this view data button again, right, just right here. Okay. That gives us a view of it in table mode go and have a look the one we're looking for and also it's in alphabetical order which i i kind of find that annoying it should be the order of the in which the data came in yeah but uh, it's just a tableau thing so it's alphabetical and then it puts all the measures on the right side i don't know it's kind of annoying so you got all these states and they're not very consistent so we can do a number of things right we can do an if function if it's equal to act or Australian capital territory then make it ACT or you can do a case function to go case when ACT then this case when Australian capital territory does it uh, but then that's more work then you can do a replace function every time it's Australian capital territory you convert it to ACT but then you have to write it for every variation gets very annoying so what we can do instead is use what's called a group let me show you how that works so let's bring in the state so I'm just going to double click this and you can see that they are different. So let me show you why this is a problem. So these two are actually together. These two are together. And these two are together. And this X, I have no idea what that is. right? And here's the problem. If I look at the delivery fee, for example, it, I could misread this, this and go, hey, it's only 240 bucks. I'll start writing invoices. I'll send it to the people, process that. And then my analyst goes, oh, actually, it's 270. We have to get the invoice back. We're going to make a, you know, and then now you're adding heaps of time to processes, which if you've got staff, that's money down the toilet, right? So we can actually consolidate these values. And this is how we do it. You select the first one, ACT, hold control and select the next one. So now you've effectively selected two. And then we're going to hover over and hover basically means just put your mouse over it. You don't have to click. And you're going to see this paperclip symbol. If you click on that, watch what happens. And also look at the value, right? So 240, 30. That's right. That just happened. It actually combined them straight away. You don't have to do any functions or formulas or anything like that. Every time I see, see this, I'm still kind of blown away. I was just like, how easy it is. Okay, let's go for the next one. So again, click. We'll do it slowly. Hold control. Control basically just lets you select multiple ones without losing your other clicks. Okay, so hold new, uh, the first one. Click the next one. Click the paper clip. And that's it. Let's do the last one, Queensland and Queensland. And let's group that as well. Easy. And we preserve the data, and that's great. The only problem is now the labeling looks kind of funny. So we can right click on this, go edit alias, and clean it up. So we can just say ACT. Let's click the alias on this one, New South Wales. And this one, edit alias, QLD. Just like that, the data is clean. Now, there's more things you can do with this, which is. I can use this as many times as I want because this grouping doesn't actually modify the existing field. So what does that mean? This over here is the existing field, meaning if I bring this into the data set, it's still in there. What's happened is it's created a brand new usable field for me, right? You can see here with the paperclip that I can use anywhere else. In fact, I can actually change this to a different geographical role switch this to um, state and province okay if that's what i want to do get rid of these so i'm just going to clear the whole sheet this is just a demo right i want to clear all this and i can actually start mapping by state okay that quick i can do it that quickly right if i wanted to change the actual name so let's go back a few steps all right so there's another way to actually modify 
the aliases and the grouping and all that. And that is once you've started that group. Okay, so let's say I go back, you know, two steps. Let's say I did the first one, so ACT, but I haven't done the other ones yet, or I want to modify existing ones. I can go to the state group, right click, and go edit group. This gives me kind of the same functionality, but in a kind of layout view. So you have obviously the name of your group, and here you can start grouping and ungrouping things. So let's say I wanted to group New South Wales and NSW. I can just click, again, hold control, New South Wales, and then press group. So go group. Okay, and that's brought it together. Let's call this New South Wales. Cool. I can rename this one by clicking the rename button. Let's go ACT. So what happens if I accidentally grouped ones that weren't really a group? Okay, so now I have this one. It's like, oh, that was a mistake. Well, very easy. I can just simply ungroup it. There you have it. Okay, so we have that. Let's do the last one. Group QLD. Q, I think I've got caps lock on. That's why. QLD. And there you have it. Okay, and the rest are kind of okay. All right, and I'm going to explain what this other is in just a second. Okay, so let's go OK. So now we have them grouped. And that's basically the first application of group. And if I get rid of this, okay, clear this out, you still have that field and you can use it however you wish. So uh, one last thing is I'm going to explain to you what that other group is. Okay, so let's say I have, uh, I'm just trying to pick a good example for this. Let's say I have Metro Regional. Okay, so let's bring this in. So the other, the null, and the x, let's say that should, oh no, actually, that's a bad example. Give me a second to think. Okay, let's do result as the example. So let me bring that in. And let's say um, these two are grouped, and I'm just kind of picking randomly. So we group that, we group that, and we group this. And everything else I'm not interested in, I just want you to lump them all in a, it's its own group. So basically anything that's not in a group, group it together. So if I go here to this new group that I've just created, right, result group, and go edit group, right, you're gonna see all these ones that were not grouped together. By clicking this other button, it will create an other group, as you can see there. And this is really good for when, like, either you're using it for data cleansing or you're want to make it that you're only focusing on a few items right you can simply just press that and it automatically groups it it's also useful when you have heaps of items right and you don't want to have to try and highlight every single one and it just takes some time so that's another way you can do it so just go okay okay we go result group and if i want to get rid of that i can simply right click and delete and that's how you use groups